Hello everyone, Vitivus back once again for the second and third look at The Whispered World. Remember, this was the game that I wasn't really interested in playing, but it kind of just grew on me. And I like it a lot. So let's go ahead and continue? Maybe that'll work? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it's gonna work. Oh, oh, it did work. Good. Alright, so last time we were here, we talked to everybody. We were pretty much ready to go on, which I think pretty much means we need to head into the forest. Let's head there. Where are you going? Isn't this where I'm supposed to go? I want to look around the forest. Don't get lost. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's all there is to it, then. What the? Did you get lost? Huh? What the? <laughs> That's what I just said. <laughs> I could have told you that. You and your sense of orientation. What? Alright, so what, what the hell is going on here? Isn't that what I'm supposed to do? Wait a minute. Now we do have stuff. Let's read this note again real quick. Ooh. Oh, dang it. I gotta remember, you don't right-click, you do the left-click. Yeah, left-click and hold. So, let's see, feed spot, we did... I think we did that? Look for audience, rehearsal, the... Oh, rehearse the human cannonball act. Wash Bruno, clean up the trailer, practice burping alphabet, and then bedtime. Oh, great. Yeah, okay. So what exactly am I supposed to do? Bruno? Hmm. Or maybe if we give Grandpa his dentures? I'm pretty sure he would want that. Right? Do you need your dentures, Grandpa? No, not really. We're having soup today. They'd just be in the way. Ah, well that didn't help any. Let's see, we got hairnet? Do you need a hairnet, Grandpa? Only, only when I'm cooking, sleeping, or bathing. In other words, just when my hair needs to stay dry. Okie dokie. There's a claw and a key. What was this key for? Never did figure that one out. Unless it's to lock the trailer thing. Oops. Dang it. You, uh, I hope you don't plan to dig over my compost heap. No, of course not. Good to hear that. It, it isn't necessary anyway. Then you needn't make any unnerving discoveries either. Hmm. That's not suitable for attracting fire dragons. Grandpa always uses Nawaii eggs as bait. Maybe I should go and stir the soup with the shovel? Maybe that makes sense. I really don't know what to do. Grandpa uses the shovel to dig ingredients from the compost heap. Okay. And where is said compost heap? I don't see anything. Bruno! What a shame. He's asleep. He's the only one in the family who listens to me. Hmm. So what exactly am I supposed to do? I've got all this stuff, and I just have no idea what to do. There was something with his handkerchief. Maybe I can give it to Ben? Are you collecting useless junk again? Oh, stop Maybe. bothering me with it! You can see that I have my hands full! Maybe I should wash it? That's wet already. Ooh. Oh, I guess the handkerchief as well. Can I borrow your handkerchief, Grandpa? Of course, my boy. Be my guest. When I was young, I always had a runny nose, too. <laughs> Ew, gross. Okay, so... What about this key? Maybe I can ask Ben about this key? I better not show that to him. He hates it when I go through his things. Hmm. Grandpa is not a private person. On the contrary, he's an open book, but one whose letters have begun to fade, I must admit. Hmm, well, that's not helpful. Maybe there's something in the trailer that requires a key that I missed? Maybe? And that's, can this door close? 
Just... Huh? What is this thing? Oh, these must be the arrows to scroll through your inventory. Okay, got that. Can you close the door? Thank you. Hmm. Okay, what else is there here? I feel like there's got to be something that we need to do to not get lost in the woods. Because I have a feeling that's exactly what you have to do. Is to go out in the woods. Well, let's try it one more time and see what happens. What the hell? What the? <laughs> <laughs> That's like playing blind man's bluff without a blindfold. How did you do that? <laughs> That is definitely, definitely, um, just fine with saying what the... Let's try again. Third time's the charm, right? No, he came out over there What again. the... <laughs> That's getting more and more fun each time. Well, he, is, he does keep saying something different, so maybe, maybe we just keep doing this and we will... Eventually find our way? The arrow looks different now. Wasn't it sideways? I don't know. Oh, he's coming again. Oh. What the? <laughs> That's getting more and more fun each time. Hmm. Okay, well that's not helping any. Maybe we need spot to be in ball form? I don't... What? what do you want to do, Spot? Are you supposed to be in here in ball form? What do you want to do, Spot? Hmm? you want to do something in here? I used to let Spot sleep in the door, but he grew too big. I remember it very well. We needed a crowbar. <laughs> okay, so he's... Very round. Is there anything I've necessarily found that I need that's round? Spot doesn't need a funny hat, no matter how often Ben insists. <laughs> Spot doesn't need a costume. I once had shown him a cape for the burning hoop act. It ended in a near tragedy. Since then, we've been performing without a tent. <laughs> You've grown really fat, Spot. You used to be able to squeeze through the tiniest of holes. Now look at you. <laughs> okay, hold on. Maybe if we bring him back to normal? Kind of hilarious. Uh, Spot, can you get up there now? Hmm, that could actually work. Hey, Spot, I need your help. We have to get this thing open. You think you can do that? All right, go for it. <laughs> We could do it, Spot. He's gonna really fit in there. Oh, he did. Wow. Okay. I trust he can do it. Okay. Well, now he's all sooty. There we go. Mm, that was not too bad. Or was that useful for anything? Ask it. What? Ask it. Hey, isn't that Ben's casket? How did it get into the stove? Why should I blow? There's no fire in the stove, just this casket. <laughs> well, let's pick it up. What the hell's a casket? Oh, it's a treasure chest? Hey, isn't that Ben's casket? Oh, hold on. Though so sinking out of the box may be a good idea, and talking into a box seems rather stupid. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. That's all that does. Oh, 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 oh! I know what to do. Here's the key. Open I it. I wonder if that's the key to Ben's casket. It matches. The casket is open. Oh, it's a map. Oh yes. Awesome. Now I shouldn't get lost anymore. There we go. 
No, that's not a menu. She had to climb, but no one left. I snickered, so that counts. Let's go. Now we won't get lost, because we have a map. Yay. Let's go. No more getting lost. Unless you have to actually use the map. Ah, oh, crap. Oh. What the... <laughs> That's getting more and more fun each time. That was a different place, but I guess you do have to actually use the map. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Go! With the map, you shouldn't get lost, right? Correct. What the hell? Oh. What the... <laughs> That's getting more and more fun each time! Maybe I'm supposed to show him the map? I really don't know. I'm confused. I better not show that to him. He hates it when I go through his things. <clears throat> Maybe to Grandpa? Grandpa has traveled a good deal. He has collected recipes from the most remote places on Earth. Memo to myself. Carry enough supplies if you plan a trip around the world. Okay. So, if you're not supposed to be getting lost, then why do you keep getting lost? I have the map out. Oh, it puts the map away. It's not good. Um... Okay. What the? <laughs> but aren't you supposed That's to good. not be getting lost? What is going on? Why do you keep getting lost? The map is supposed to fix this problem. I don't know how it's not. Unless I'm supposed to like... I, I thought maybe I'm supposed to click it on him? But it doesn't work. Now I shouldn't get lost anymore. Yeah, you shouldn't, but you still do. Now it's empty. Though sinking out of the box may be a good idea. Yeah. No, that's not a menu. Shut the Dang it. So he says that he shouldn't get lost anymore, but he still does get lost. Is this a bug? I mean, I did kind of hear that this game doesn't really work well on Windows, or Windows 10. So it might just be a bug. We may not be able to play the rest. It just, it doesn't stop. What the? <laughs> That's getting more and more fun each time. Why do you keep, why, am I supposed to like give it to Spot or something? We can finally leave this place. Look here, Spot. We have Ben's map. We can finally leave this place. Okay, so can you actually leave? Oh my god, I don't get this. Oh, what the? <laughs> That's good. I just... I don't understand what to do. I've tried everything I can think of. He said with the map, we should be able to leave, and he still gets That's lost. That's not suitable for attracting fire dragons. Grandpa always uses Nawaii eggs as bait. Bruno can find his way without map and compass. Even our draft animal is more skilled than I am. <laughs> oh. Are you trying to tell me you need a compass, too? Well, how am I supposed to get a compass? Talk to Ben. Hi, Ben. Oh, what do you want this time? Why am I always getting lost? Why am I always getting lost? <laughs> because you're good for nothing. That's why lack of orientation is just another thing on the long list of your inabilities. Without a map and a compass, you wouldn't even find your own feet. Um, 
And what exactly are you doing? I'm looking for my feet so I can kick you for what you just said. <laughs> Where can I get a compass? I think Grandpa has one. Why don't you go and ask him? Great. I might as well ask Bruno. Grandpa is so senile, he forgets what you asked if he tries to string two sentences together. I might be a bit senile, but I've still got two ears. With which I can. With which I can. Uh, with which I can still see very clearly. <laughs> Oh my, that won't be easy. See you. Yep, see you. And don't forget, keep smiling. You're a clown. Remember? <sighs> well, let's see if Grandpa has one. Grandpa. Ah, uh, hello, Grandpa. Ah, hello, Ben. Is your hat still too tight? Okay, let's see. I want to take a look. Uh, keep getting lost. Yes. I want you to take a look around the autumn forest, but I keep getting lost. If, if, if you want to go for a walk, have you given Spot something to drink yet? Yes, Grandpa. All done and finished. Well, you've earned a little walk then. Ah, but be careful. The autumn forest is big and dense. Yeah, very, very much like my beard. You can very easily get lost in it. <laughs> Again, very much like my beard. <laughs> I already noticed that. You'd better take my comb. I mean compass with you. Hmm, now where did I put it? I know it's in the trailer. Under the bed. Great. Thanks, Grandpa. Under the bed, right? Yes, 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 yes. Under the bed. I like to take a pinch late at night. Take a pinch of the compass? Yes, <laughs> I know, it's unhealthy. But at my age, well. <laughs> Are you sure you're talking about the compass? Don't you mean compote? Compote? What are you insinuating? Did you nose around my notes? Besides, <laughs> if I planned anything like that, it would be none of your business. You must consider all the consequences of such a compote, you know. A compote with broad ramifications? Yes, so you better keep your nose out of it. Oh, Grandpa, you're talking about a complot. You're <laughs> planning a complot. A complot? I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't need to plan a complot. I just made one not to, well, ten minutes ago. Right behind the trailer. That's compost. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> I carry the compost with me all the time. The compost? <laughs> it's compost. in my pocket. I'm pretty sure it is. Just a second. Here it is. It's a compass. Grandpa, that's not compost. <laughs> that's the compass. Really? Then where's the compost? Would you mind <laughs> checking under my bed? Sure. Just remind me again later, okay? Now, I'm taking a walk in the autumn forest. I'd be back for lunch, you hear? No, thanks. I really don't care for petroleum soup. Well, what's that? Oh, nothing really. Thanks, Grandpa. Okay. See you later. Cheer up, Ben. Okay, so now we can finally leave without getting stuck or lost. That was a little confusing. But talking to Ben definitely helped. Oh dear, he's getting more and more difficult each day. Ah, he's still young. He hasn't found his responsibilities in the world yet. He should carry out his responsibilities to the circus first, before looking for new ones. Oh, by the way, I hate you, both of you. <laughs> I just wanted to get that off my chest. Never mind me. <laughs> Ben is in a bad mood today. Oh, shut up, Grandpa. <laughs> Just be quiet, will you? Okay, so let's see. We got the shore or we got the circus. Um, I'm thinking the circus is where we just were, maybe? And the shore is not where we were. Yikes! There's somebody there. A stranger. I wonder what he's doing here. Sitting? The water looks downright cloudy. No, wait. That's just a reflection of my face. The island seems to be inhabited, but it's too far away to swim there. I don't think anyone will hear me if I call out. I don't think anyone will see me if I wave. 
No thanks. I have a craving for other things. Like a useful occupation, for example. Or respect. <sighs> <laughs> I'll wash my hands later. I've got the feeling I'll get my hands dirty a couple more times today. <laughs> Probably. A branch. Exciting. <laughs> it's too big for a toothpick. Good, it's gotta be useful, I imagine. Talk to this dude. A stranger. I'd rather not shake hands with him. I don't want to catch wards. Sure, just tell that to him right, right to his face. Hello. <laughs> Thank heaven, you are not an askew, obviously. I'm not a what? Oh, nothing. Everything's fine. At last, I've met someone. Are you from around these parts? No, we're just passing through with our circus. Damn, I thought it was too good to be true. Who are you? Why do you want to know? Are you one of the Askew spies? Could be. Ah, nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> of course you're not an askew. I'm sorry. I'm just a little nervous. My name is Bobby. I've come from far away. Huh? Oh, yes. I am a Chusky. You know? And you are? I'm Shadwick. My family owns a small traveling circus. I understand. So, you're some kind of clown. We're in the performing arts trade. A clown, then. You don't look particularly happy, if I might say so. Chusky? What does that mean? What? You don't know the Chasky? The word means messenger. We perform important tasks on behalf of the king. Chasky. Now I remember. Grandpa told me about you. But you can't be a Chasky. Oh yeah? Why not? Hmm. <laughs> oh jeez, these are all mean. <laughs> Chasky, our noble messenger to Corona. Oh, yeah? And where do you think I'm coming from? Well, you rather look like someone coming from a... <laughs> That's right. Directly from the royal court. You? From Corona? I don't believe you. You should. I am a Chasky. And I'm on a mission on behalf of the king. Chasky, our brave heroes and... That's right. What do you think brought me here? I'm in the middle of a hair-raising adventure. The fate of the world lies in my hands. You're exaggerating. Not a bit. <laughs> there have never been situations more desperate. I'd rather not go into details. You'd never be able to sleep at night if I did. Ha! Like that would make a difference. Yeah, he already doesn't sleep. Kinda like me. Chasky are skilled trackers. <laughs> Even though it may look that way, I'm not lost. I'm just not sure about where to go. That's all. Or, in other words, lost. Chesky are cheerful adventurers. Ha! That's good coming from you. Looking at you doesn't exactly fill me with joy either. I didn't sleep well. I suffer from nightmares. Nightmares, you say? Hmm. In fact, I don't really know much about the Chesky. Unfortunately, I haven't got the time to tell you about my daring adventures, which is a shame. They're full of suspense. Epic, too. And every now and again, there's a laugh or two included. Well, too bad. <laughs> what exactly is your mission? Not that I'm really interested. Actually, it's a secret. But all right, I'll tell you. I'm carrying a precious and Powerful artifact. The Whispering Stone. The what? Whispering Stone. Blistering Bone? The Whispering Stone! <laughs> Why don't you listen? How could I with you mumbling like that? My mission is to take it back to Corona, to the King's Castle. The <laughs> Blistering Bone? Whispering Stone? That doesn't sound very powerful. I don't know very much about it, but I do know that it's very important. Otherwise, the Royal Stones collection wouldn't be complete. It's not a joking matter. As far as I know, the king needs it to prevent the end of the world. And now I'm supposed to help you with your mission, right? <laughs> of 
clown wants to help a real Chasky with his mission. Now that's a good one. What? I'm sure I could be of some help. Impossible. I'm every bit as good as you. <laughs> At least you're a pretty good clown. Whatever. Okay, so do your stuff alone. Hey, hey! Take it easy. I understand that you're fascinated by my adventures. Ooh, yeah, wow. But you <laughs> simply don't know what you're getting involved with. The life of a Chasky is full of danger. You'll get yourself into big trouble. If you want to help me, you'll need to be 100% certain. I'm 100% certain, uh, sure. So, at least you've got guts. That's a good thing. But are you skillful enough to? Well, I'm just as skilled as you are. If it's true, that'd be great. Skillfulness is one of the most important qualities of a Chasky. But I wonder whether you are optimistic enough. You strike me as being rather negative. Chasky are characterized by their incredible joyful nature, which gives us the energy to find a way out of even the most difficult situations. Are you really joyful enough? Of course. I'm a clown, after all. Right. <laughs> How could I ever doubt you? Very well, then. It looks like you meet the necessary requirements. Great. You see... I'm really desperate, and time is running out. Don't get your hopes up. I'm not very good at things like this. Usually things get more complicated as soon as I try to help. Hmm. That doesn't sound either brave or joyful or skillful. Maybe I should put your abilities to a test first. A test? Yes. Uh -oh. You could go and fetch me something to eat. A nice fish would just do the trick. What? I'm supposed to catch a fish for you? I wanted to help you with your mission. If I want to play the lackey, I might as well go back to my family. Hold your horses. First, you show me what you can do by catching a fish for me. Then, I'll fill you in on my mission. Do you think you can do that? I'll manage somehow. I believe in you, Sadwick. Look. About this test... You're still not finished? My stomach is about to collapse. <sighs> I'll manage somehow. I believe in you, Sadwick. Are the stories about Corona true? It depends. Which stories are you referring to? I heard that the king is dead. He's not dead, but he's very weak. I think the impending doom is getting to him. I heard Corona has fallen. Not yet, but the situation is growing more and more threatening. The Asgil have advanced up to the castle. The Asgil? Yes, a horrific strain of creatures. It's just a matter of time, I fear. Creepy. I heard that the end is near. That's right, I'm afraid. The landscape around Corona has already started to fall apart. Like in my dream. You dreamed about that? Uh-oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Why do you say that? Oh, uh, no reason. Forget about it, will you? In fact, I've only heard rumors. Well, not everything one hears is true. But the situation is serious. Do you think my dreams are trying to tell me something? My brother Ben says I shouldn't worry. Yes. Listen to your brother. Keep on dreaming, and pretend you never heard of the world's big problems. Yes, as if you never even met me. That's best for you. Just ignore the fact that the world is on the brink, and we're all doomed. Aren't you exaggerating a bit? Oh, you think I'm exaggerating? It already started, Sadwick. The land is falling apart. The end is nigh. Like in my dream. That was your dream? Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good at all. Why? They're only dreams. Only dreams? Only dreams, he says. What if it's not? What if it's a vision? A vision? You think so? I admit, it's not very likely in your case. Only important people have visions. Kings, oracles, and Chasky. Nevertheless, the thought is unsettling. Do you want to see the circus? What? 
Are you mad? Do I look like I have time for that kind of nonsense? You just go back to your circus, Sonny. I have to deal with the important things in this world. So the big responsibilities of this world are up to you? Now that's unsettling. Yes, indeed. <laughs> And neither elephants nor colorful balls can prevent me from carrying out my mission. Not even cheerful chimps with hilarious hats. You don't happen to have <laughs> chimps in your circus, do you? No. No, <laughs> of course not. And even if you had, I wouldn't have been interested at all. For I am a chasky, and nothing can stop me from carrying out my mission. See you later. Later. Okay, so he wants me to catch a fish. Which I'm guessing has something to do with the lake. Probably has something to do with this stick. Maybe this branch mixed with the hair. Well, let's see. A measly dip net for a measly clown. There. That'll work. Okay, so that makes a net. A measly dip net. Okay. Yeah. Yummy. Can there be anything but... <laughs> All right, let's see if this works. Hey, that actually worked. Looks like Holy the clumsy God. little brother finally accomplished something. Amazing. Give me one second. Oh, God, I can't believe it's been 30 minutes. I know I say this every time, but I literally can't believe it. But we did get the fish. See? I caught it without any help. Sometimes I surprise even myself. I hate surprises. No, I didn't catch it for me. It will be Bobby's job to fight off Salmonella. Here's <laughs> your fish. I did it. I caught a fish. Ooh, yum. Are you going to just eat it raw? That's the first good news I heard in months. Will you tell me about your mission then? Of course. I'm a man who keeps his promises. But be warned. Helping me will put you in great danger. The Asgil are hot on my trail. I shouldn't even be here anymore. Now, please, don't exaggerate. Hmm. You have no idea, have you? Well, are you sure you want to get involved with this? We've been there already. I'm absolutely sure. All right, then. <laughs> well, have you ever heard of Shana? Isn't that the disease where your feet itch terribly? <laughs> Shana, isn't that the disease where your feet itch terribly? No, you're talking about athlete's foot. <laughs> I'm talking about Shana. She's an oracle, a kind of clairvoyant. And according to the legend, she lives somewhere in the autumn forest. But maybe it's nothing more than that. Just a legend. I've already searched until I'm half dead. I'm going to cancel my quest. I mustn't stay here too long. I've got a bad feeling that the Asgill are hot on my trail. That's terrible. Say, about this Shana. Yes? What about her? What do you want from Shana? Corona is far away. Without help. It will take months to get there. I'm hoping that Shana can give me some advice. There must be a way to shorten the trip. An oracle? Can she interpret dreams as well? Of course. In that case, I have to meet her too. Maybe my dreams do mean something after all. Hmm. You could come with me. Really? That'd be great. I'll finally find out the meaning of my dreams. Provided, of course, we can find her. Where shall I start looking for her? The only thing I know is that she's supposed to live in a cabin in the middle of the autumn forest. But where exactly? I have no idea. I came down from the hills in the east. There's a good view of the valley and the whole autumn forest from there. But a cabin? Not a trace. The only things remotely resembling buildings are those ruins to the west. But I've already been there. A couple of columns and statues, that's all. Then there's that cave near the mountains. And that finally leaves the forest itself. Maybe you could get a better overview from that giant tree to the south. I can track those places on your map if you want me to. Well, at least that's a start. Cool. Enough of Shauna. Let's talk about something else. As you wish. What else is on your mind? See you later. Later. Contact me if you have new information about Shana. Okay, so I guess we're going to be looking for Shana. Or Shanna? However they say her name. 
Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this second look at the Whispered World. Getting quite interesting. I'm going to go ahead and record the third one. And both of these will be up in... Uh, actually, it's going to be today for this one and tomorrow for the next one. If you guys did enjoy it, go ahead and leave a like. It does help out a lot. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Share, comment, do whatever you see fit. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Daedalic December. Bit of us out.